going on YouTube Roy coming at you today with my very first YouTube video now I know this is something that I personally have talked about for a very long time um, I've procrastinated I put it off but I'm finally going to get on my YouTube grind um, I, I plan on releasing maybe one or two videos a week I'm gonna do probably uh, different stuff like tips and tricks uh, question and answers my setup different GoPro videos, a lot of different stuff. I'm going to try and give you guys some good variety, and I definitely have a lot of stuff to work on. Uh, this video is going to probably be a little rough around the edges, but I look forward to refining it. Please give me uh, some comments. Let me know what I did good. Let me know what I did bad. I definitely want to get better for you guys, and I intend to do so. So let me know what I can improve on. So this video here, I'm going to do a question and answer. So I posted on Twitter yesterday, I asked you guys uh, for different questions, and you guys came out in full force, so thank you so much to everybody who submitted uh, questions to me. I ended up picking my favorite five or six questions because I want to keep this video relatively short since it's my first one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the questions. And the first question was submitted by at Matty Trunks, and he asked, how long do you see yourself competing in Halo? I personally am one of the most competitive people in the world, so unless I am competing for first, I do not want to continue to compete. Uh, I ended up taking a pretty uh, long break, about a two-year break from Halo between 2012 and 2014, uh, and I ended up coming back for H2A in the ESL Invitational with Straight Rippin. Um, I had no idea what to expect going into that tournament. I hadn't competed in a while. I had never played H2A. I had never played on an Xbox One controller, so I didn't really know if I would still have it. Um, I ended up playing very well that event. We placed second, uh, which exceeded a lot of people's expectations. So at that point, I knew that I still had a little bit of game left uh, in me. So that's when Snipedown and uh, Pistola approached me about teaming with them and Evil Geniuses, and I've never looked back since. My current roster ended up, uh, we had to make a change when Pistola uh, had an injury to his hand. So it's currently myself, Lunchbox, Snipedown, and Lethal. I couldn't ask for better teammates. I'm having an absolute blast competing in these tournaments, having a blast playing online and practice in online tournaments. So at this point, I'm going to ride the, the, uh, the roller coaster until it comes to a stop, but I don't foresee that happening anytime soon. Um, so going into Halo 5, I look forward to competing in these tournaments as long as I can stay uh, as one of the best players in the game. So jumping right into question number two, that was submitted by at Viking4321, and he asked, what do you think that yourself, uh, in terms of players, 343 um, and Halo as an eSport need to do in order to build the, the, uh, the Halo eSport going into Halo 5? I think the simple answer to that is what I am doing right now, and that is YouTube. If you look at the success of Call of Duty, I think that there is a huge correlation there between YouTube and Call of Duty's success. Every player in Call of Duty almost... I shouldn't say every player, almost every player, it seems like, releases YouTube content consistently. That just, uh, that equals views, that equals popularity, that equals hype, uh, that just builds the brand of the game as a whole. Uh, YouTube has an incredible following, a lot of people watch it, and you can uh, really grow the esport as a whole just by releasing consistent and quality content. Um, if you look at Halo, Snipedown and uh, Flamesword are really the only two guys that are releasing content right now. And I hope um, that I can begin to release good content for you guys and hopefully other guys follow suit uh, after Flamesword and, uh, and Snipedown and start releasing more content to help build Halo. It's definitely not in a very good place right now, but hopefully we can build some steam going into Halo 5 and hopefully we can uh, try and get close to the level that Call of Duty is right now um, because it's definitely pretty amazing to watch where Call of Duty is right now and where it was back in such as like 2007, 2008, and I definitely feel that YouTube is the biggest reason for the growth and success of Call of Duty. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the next question, and that is submitted by Dolson underscore 30, and his question is, what is your favorite memory from competing in Halo tournaments? My favorite memory is easily my very first tournament, and that's Charlotte 2007. So going into that event, I had never been to a large uh, major Halo tournament at that point, so I didn't really know what to expect. I was incredibly nervous at this event. Um, myself, Lunchbox, Fear Itself, and Hokum, uh, we went as Team 5K, and fast forward through the tournament, 
we ended up getting fourth place, which was far and above exceeding my expectations for the event. I really didn't know what we would do. We went to the tournament with a lot of hype. We had done very well uh, scrimming against some of the top teams in online uh, tournaments and online scrims. So we went in labeled as online warriors, uh, which was a pretty fitting uh, description at that point because we had never been to an event together. Um, but we kind of shattered that, that persona of our team, and we ended up getting fourth. Um, after that event, I knew maybe there was something here. Uh, there was a huge opportun opportunity for success and a huge opportunity for myself and Lunchbox to continue to go to these tournaments um, and not only make money but compete in something that we love to do. Um, so hopefully going into Halo 5, I can continue to be one of the best players in the game um, as I feel that I am right now. But it's definitely very reassuring to have my brother Lunchbox back on the squad. Um, so shout out to my teammates Lunchbox, Towie, Snipedown, and Lethal for making uh, H2A, uh, the, the tournaments, such an incredible experience. And definitely one of the favorite, if not the most favorite team that I have ever been on. Um, question number four is going to be uh, from at, at its doodle. And it's what brought you back to compete in Halo after your break. So during my break, a lot of people ask me, what were you doing during your break? I was actually starting to pursue a career. I started working in the hospital to get some, uh, some experience in that because I planned on going to nursing school. I actually ended up completing my first semester of nursing school before the ESL Invitational. Um, as a lot of you guys may know, uh, school takes a lot of work. Nursing school is definitely very time consuming. Uh, it's very difficult to manage both school and Halo. So I actually took a leave of absence from nursing school in order to compete full time. And winning season one finals was the most gratifying feeling knowing that I had made the right decision uh, to come back and compete in these tournaments. I was kind of unsure at first whether or not I was ever going to come back. I definitely didn't plan to. Uh, like I said, I was trying to start my career. I thought that Halo, my run with it, was probably over. Halo 4 was not a game that I had any interest in competing in. I did compete in one or two tournaments, but I had very, very little fun doing so. Um, fast forwarding into Halo 2 Anniversary, I absolutely love the gameplay in this game. I think most people that play it can agree with me. It's definitely one of the best Halo that's been released. Definitely since Halo 3, in my opinion. Um, and it definitely has that original Halo feel to it. So... Hopefully we can continue to build on the, uh, the quality of gameplay and the competitiveness that Halo 2 Anniversary has to offer moving into Halo 5. Um, I definitely have a lot of speculation about Halo 5 and uh, some, some question marks about it, but they have, I feel, made some necessary strides to make this game uh, a better Halo 5, that is, and also kind of uh, listen to what the public has to say. The general public has a lot of, uh, a lot of advice for, for 343 in terms of what they need to do to make the game better, and hopefully 343 continues to listen and also make the changes that they think will best uh, impact and, and create a game that will be the most successful and have the most potential for growth. Um, so the last question that I'm going to answer comes from at uh, Girlfriend Haver, and that is, what is the best way to mentally prepare for a tournament? Um, my best piece of advice for this is to find a routine. A routine makes you feel more comfortable. If you have something that you do every single tournament, it makes it feel uh, just more normal. These tournaments, obviously, you're playing for a lot of money. You have a lot more pressure at these live events when you're playing next to your teammates. You're playing next, uh, uh, I'm sorry, across from four other guys competing against you. And you also have the live crowd cheering, um, just watching your screens. It definitely adds another element of pressure. So if you just get into a routine, you develop habits uh, that make you feel most at home, most comfortable, most like your home setting, that's going to allow you to maximize uh, your level of play and try different stuff. So if one tournament you have a bad event, you definitely want to switch it up and try something different next tournament. Try and eat maybe a couple bananas in the morning. And if you have that and it doesn't work, do something different the next event. You definitely have to try different stuff. I personally have my own routines that work for me. And everything is going to work a little bit differently from person to person. So you got to do what works best for you um, and switch it up if it's not working for you. Um, so that's all the questions that I have today. I know the video was pretty short. Like I said, I'm going to continue to improve. I'm going to do better. I'm going to listen to your guys' critique. Um, so please, if you like the video, give it a like, comment, or subscribe. And I will continue to release more content, give you a little bit more variety. But thank you so much for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.